is a monthly. I'm from Glorland Christian Academy, and the title of my speech is I Am a Filipino by Carlos P. Romulo. I am a Filipino, inheritor of a glorious past, hostage and uncertain future. As such, I must prove equal to a twofold task. The task of meeting my responsibility to the past and the task of performing my obligation to the future. I sprung from a hard race, <laughs> child of many generations the move of ancient Malayan pioneers. Across the centuries, the memory comes rushing back to me. Of brown skinned men putting out the sea in ships that were as frail as their hearts were stout. Over the sea, I see them come, borne upon the billowing wave and whistling wind, carried upon the mighty swell of hope. Hope in the free abundance. And that was to be the home and their children forever. This is the land that they sought and found. Every inch of the shore that their eyes were set upon, every hill and mountain that beckoned them with a green and purple vegetation, every mile of rolling plain that their view had put past. Every river and lake that promised a plentiful day and the fruitfulness of commerce is a hollow spot to me. By the strength of their hearts and hands, by every right of law, human and divine, this land in all the appurtenances thereof, the black and fertile soil, the seas and lakes and rivers seeming with fish. The forests when exhausted with love and white life and timber. The mountains with their bowels swollen with minerals. The hearts which and happy land has been for centuries without number. The land of my fathers. This land I received in trust from them, and in trust will I pass it to my children. And so on until the world is no more. I am a Filipino. In my blood runs the immortal seed of heroes. Seed that flowered down the centuries in the ditch of courage and defiance. In my veins, yet poses the same hot blood that sent Lapu Lapu to battle against the first invader of this land. That nerve Lakandula. To combat the alien foe, and that drove Jacosila and the goal into rebellion against the foreign oppressor. That seed is immortal. It is the self same seed that flowered the heart of Saracen that morning in Bagumbayan, when a volume of shots put an end to all that was mortal of him and made the spirit deathless forever. The same that flowered down in the heart. When fashioned by the Tawakis, of Gregorio del Pilar at the Red Pass, of Antonio Luna at Polito, that bloom of flowers and frustration in the sad heart, of Emilio Aguinaldo at Palada, and yet was forth royally again in the proud heart of Manuel Quesa, when he stood at last at the threshold of the ancient Malacanang Palace in the symbolic act of possession and worship. I am a Filipino, child of the marriage of the East and the West. The East, with its land war and mysticism, its pacific endurance was my mother. And my son was the West, that came thundering across the seas with a cross and a sword and a machine. I am of the East. An eager participant in its field, and it struggles for the liberation from the imperial seal. But I also know that the East must away from its central state, shake off the lethargy that its body slips, and start moving. For destiny awaits. For I, too, 
M of the West. And the vigorous people of the West have destroyed forever the peace and play that once arrives. <laughs> I cannot longer live. Being apart from those who were now trembles in the roar of bomb and cannon shot. I can say a matter of universal life and death, of freedom and slavery for all mankind. But it is not. For no man, no nation is an island, but a part of me. There is no longer any East and West. Only individuals and nations making those momentous choices, which are the hitches upon which history resolves. At the vanguard of progress, in this part of the world, I stand. A foreign figure in the eyes of some, but not one defeat of the loss. For through the thick interlation of the of habit and custom above me, I had seen what I had suffered, and I know that it's good. I had seen the light of justice and equality and freedom. My heart has been lifted by the vision of democracy, and I shall not press until my land and my people shall have been blessed by this. Beyond the power of any man or nation to subvert or destroy. Out of the lost dream of these 7,000 eyes, out of the heartstrings of 16 million people, all vibrating into one song, I shall weave the mighty fabric of my flesh. Out of the voices of the farmers at sunrise, when they go to labor in the fields, out of the sweat of hard beaten pioneers in Madigan Coronet, out of the silent endurance of steel doors of the piers and the ominous rumbling of peasants in Pampanga, out of the first cries of babies newly born and the lullabies of mothers sick, out of the crashing of gears and wind of turbines in the factories, out of the crunch of plowshares up turning the earth, out of the limitless patience of teachers in the classroom and doctors in the place are the trump of soldiers marching. I shall be the I am a Filipino, born to freedom, and I shall not press until freedom shall have been added unto my inheritance. For myself, my children, and my children,